with Steve Malone from Kyle Machine Tools. Now you represent WFL Mill Turn Technology. Steve, tell me all about well, this fantastic machine next to us. Well, the machine we are stood next to, Colin, is DM20. It's a new addition to our range of machines from WFL. I'm going to stop you there, though, because WFL, people, if, when they're thinking WFL, big components, but high-end machines. And it's correct that we are big machines for high-end components, complex components that require five-axis machine tools to produce those components. However, we've got a brand new machine, as I just hinted, the M20. The M20 remains loyal to all the principles that WFL have in the machine tool industry. Uh, but what we're looking to do is take that knowledge that we've gained over the years and bring it to a smaller machine, opening up different market sectors to uh, WFL. Okay, so really, so a smaller machine, you know, a, a main subcontract machine shop essentially, because this is a small footprint machine. It is a small footprint print machine, but again, as I'm trying to hint, it still offers all the capability, all the functionality of what a WFL is known for. And we can see what's going on here in the machine envelope. I'll come to that later, but I'm going to start at that end with the tooling. Talk me through what options they've got there. And um, we do CAFTO tooling, we do HSK tooling. This machine is on HSK 63 at the moment. We have 40 up to 80 tool uh, capacity in the tool magazine. Next and behind you, the control system. What is that? It's a Siemens control, um, Siemens lends itself to the applications that we uh, perform best on. So I'm assuming simple to use but really, really powerful. Really powerful and again we need that power because we've developed some special software, WFL specific bespoke software and we need this platform to be able to run with that. Right, that's the eye control system is it? It is the eye control system. The eye control is process monitoring software. It can take up to 16 signals at any given time to monitor the machine. It has the potential to minimize collision impacts, uh, wear on the tools, it protects the tool, it protects the actual functionality of the process. It's process monitoring, process control. Okay, so monitoring all the time so you're not going to get damage on your component, your tools, or your machine as well. Yes. In a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. Great stuff already in terms of flexibility, tooling, your software. But this is really impressive what's going on here. So talk me through what, what actually is going on here. Well, there's three main things that you can see. We've got the TBM, which is the turning, boring, milling unit. We have the main spindle and we have the counter spindle. So not a sub spindle? No, not a sub spindle. The sub spindle offers some additional functionality to the main spindle, but the counter spindle offers the same performance as the main spindle. So as powerful and as fast. Exactly, yes. And what can you expect from the actual spin of the TBM? Uh, the TBM, again, it, using the uh, available tools in the tool carousel, gives you a lot of flexibility, because a lot of the components we produce, as you can see here, are complex. They require many features, and those features, re and because, as you said before, it's difficult to machine material, there's a lot of sister tools required as well. So this type of this spindle gives you the opportunity to utilize the tool availability in the tool carousel, but at the same time maintain uh, all the features that are required in the components. And when you say the system, I'm assuming that ties in with the eye control, so if anything does go wrong, stop and patch it. Stop, over. take it away, replace yep. and carry on with the process. Okay, so full function, full five axis simultaneous machining from this? 100% yes. Okay. We said earlier about sort of well, implied about the industries, but this is aimed at any industry really. It is, yeah. We know we have a reputation for you know again, as say difficult ma to machine material. Um, so we're going for the titanium, special uh, stainless alloys, all this stuff. But in oil and gas, aerospace, marine, nuclear, you know, power generation in general. But now we've brought it down to a size that we can yes make smaller components for those industries but also take us to a, a, a different market. For example, let's say auto, sport and the medical industry. So really, a lot more flexibility in terms of smaller components, opening up to a lot more industries. Yeah, and again, you know, from the OEM right down to the small subcontracted SMEs. Yep. And again, any type of material as well, so not just your hard to machine materials. Exactly, you know, we do offer up a 20,000 RPM in the uh, TBM, uh, which obviously allows us to machine what you might call 
softer materials, Easy. like say aluminiums or whatever, yes. Dave, you've loaded, this machine's giving a lot of flexibility to new industries and new machine shops across UK and Ireland. But there's other options available as well, is that right? There is. It does, on the machine that you can see here, we've got the one TBM. There is an option of adding a second TBM, which is basically a B axis two. We can also take away the counter spindle and put in a tail stock. And there's also the option to add automation. Dave, great overview of this machine. And just look at the component itself. It's really, really impressive stuff. So if you just give me a final summary. Oh, God, if I was going to summarize, we're lucky to have this. Um, we perform extremely well in very specific industries. What we've got here is an opportunity to take WFL out to different sectors and also giving those sectors an opportunity to come into WFL. Steve, there you have it. Great endorsement. WFL machine opening up to bigger markets at high quality machining. Thank you very much.